Hello again everyone and welcome back again for another video. Today we're going to take a look at it one more laptop. This one is a Lenovo IdeaPad 3. Um, let's go to the screen here real fast and take a look at the specs on this thing before I unbox this and open this up and do what I'm going to do to this. And uh, let's go to that scene. Okay, so what we have here is your average run-of-the-mill laptop, uh, standard price, standard features. It's got the Intel Core i3 1005G1 processor, 4 gigs of memory, 128GB M.2 SSD, Windows 10 in S mode. So, right off the bat, before I even do anything with this, you can see this has got a couple shortcomings to it. You know, kind of, you know, small amount of memory there, small amount of storage. And then, of course, you got your Windows 10 in S mode, which is uh, crappy. So, uh, before I even open it up, you can tell that I need to do a little bit of work to this thing. Retail price on this is $399. Uh, I think that's a little high for what you get. I've noticed as of late, though, some of these laptops... Um, the prices on them have kind of went up to from where they were about six months or more ago uh where something like this usually i would see probably about the 329 range 299 range it's kind of went up a bit here um and you know what it sucks it doesn't even have a ryzen it's just a core i3 <laughs> but um yeah we'll do some upgrading to this one anyways i i we'll, we'll see if this one's worth it i mean the so it's, it's a little guy here doesn't have much for uh io on it let's take a look here a couple of the pictures you can see it's got a hdmi two usb3 a usb2 on that side and there's your power up towards the top there and on this other side oops uh, looks like we got a, uh, what is that, a card reader and a headphone jack. Um, doesn't look like the, uh, keyboard, there's much to that. Uh, just a couple, just your basic keyboard. Alright, so, let me cut this scene, let me crack this open, and, uh, let's tear this apart and see what we can do to upgrade this thing. Okay, normally I don't do this on camera, but sure, why not? This time, let's do it. I'm going to go ahead and open this up on camera here. Um, shouldn't be too bad of a job here. Looks like it's just a few screws underneath. Toss those in there. What do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six screws, it looks like. Don't look like there's too many screws holding this in. And we'll see. Three. Four. Oop. Five. And six. Is that all of them? I think so. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Sorry, my bad. There's uh, a few more right up front here. I should have known better that there would be, you know, not only six screws here. That would just be too easy. Okay. Loosen up all those. Hmm. <laughs> and so it looks like 10 of them total let me see if I can find my practical this will work we'll find a price spot on here There we go. <clears throat> Typically, you can go lift these up along the edge here. There we go. There we go. And 
bottom is off. All right, let's take a look at what we got. Extra slot for a memory. So, let's see, where's our M.2? It should be here somewhere. That's it. I bet it's hiding underneath here. Yep, there it is. It's a little uh, 2242 M.2, little tiny guy. And it's got like a little thermal paste on it. That's kind of interesting. And as you can see right here, we can add another hard drive. Do we have the connectors for it? I don't see the connectors for it. Unless it's in the box somewhere. So yeah, it looks like there's a mount here to put another drive, but there's no... Nope. I don't see where it would go. Possibly there. So I'll bet that's something you have to buy separate. Yep. Yep, sure is. Alright, so I'm guessing this is our memory modules here. Alright, let me go ahead and grab a memory module off the shelf. We'll upgrade the memory in this. This is only 128. We'll get rid of this one. We'll put a 512 in here. I think I got a 512 for this one. And uh, then we'll close it up and see what we got. Be back in just a second here. Okay, I decided to hold up real quick before I do this upgrade because I wanted to check something out. I actually have three different speeds of memory over here that I could put into this. Uh, I just wanted to make sure I got the right speed. Looks like it's going to be running 2667 speed. So, um, no point in putting PC3200 in here. But it's, it's just going to lower itself to the speed of the memory. So, yeah, let me go ahead. And uh, now that I know the speed of it, now I'm going to power it down and uh, put the new memory upgrade. Sorry about that. So that was a pretty simple upgrade. Here's our new M.2 right here. I put a 512 in there instead of this uh, 128 that come with it. And then there's our new memory stick. This is a 2667 speed uh, 4 gig stick. So we're going to actually double this RAM to 8 gigs of RAM. Um, I really didn't see any point in going higher on the RAM. I could have put an 8 gig stick in there, brought it up to 12 or even a 16 gig stick if I guess if I wanted to brought it up to 20 but uh, considering what this laptop is made for um, I just kind of seen that kind of as a waste so that's why I only put a 4 gig module in here but uh, yeah let me get the cover back on this real fast here grab it over here and it should just be a matter of popping that on now, when I do this, I don't always put my screws in after I've done the job. I always do an initial boot up first, make sure everything's kosher, because every once in a while you can get a memory stick that's incompatible and it won't boot up and what have you here. Let me, let me power that on there real quick, and we'll hit the power button, see what it does real fast. I know if I got the Lenovo screen, we're good. Mm, nope, hasn't done nothing. Try that again. Yeah, see it's blank. <laughs> see, I hate when that happens. All right, now I got to troubleshoot, so let me cut the scene and see if we can figure out what's going on here. Oop, guess not. <laughs> as soon as I cut the camera away and turned the camera, it uh, started up. So it looks like uh, it is going. Now, I do have a Windows uh, on this uh, M.2 already. Uh, it was pre-installed. Um, we'll just see if it boots up here real fast. I'm going to have to take this back to uh, <clears throat> get some stuff out of my way here. Let me switch my keyboard over. Well, I guess I don't have it plugged in. Let me plug in my keyboard. Um, it's got to get itself ready. Put that over there. Let's see what we got. Might have to reinstall Windows. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, this already had Windows on this M.2, so I'm not sure how this is going to work out. All right. <clears throat> Can 
gonna hang in there, hang in there. Let me turn off this light real fast. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to cut this scene so I'm not boring you with watching this do its thing, trying to get its initial setup going, and uh, I'll come back when this thing's done. Alrighty, so I got it booted up now, and uh, let's check this out, make sure we are kosher here on our details. I'll go to performance. All right, 8 gigs of memory showing up, SSD is showing up. Now, the 512 that I used was a piece of crap. I ended up tossing that out. I actually tried that 512 in a different um, machine, and I was having problems. I didn't know if it was the machine or if it was the NVMe drive. It turned out to be the NVMe drive because I had the same issue in this machine where it would not show up, so I actually had to switch out that 512 for a 256. Um talk about this laptop a little bit um so you see when i had it opened up there that it had a spot for the for a secondary sata drive but there's no cable i checked that out and it looks like you can probably get one of those for about 10 bucks but you know lenovo should have give you that in the first place which kind of sucks uh another thing about this um no usb-c on it no ethernet port on it um i thought that was a little disappointing the screen on this isn't very bright um not to me anyways i've i've tested lots of lenovo's over the years and they are usually just outstanding with the screens this one is a little bit of a disappointment um don't know what else to say about that uh I, I just got to do my uh, the last of what I want to do here on this one, and then this one will be ready to go. Basically, all I'm going to do is go to uh, disk clean up here and uh, clean up some system updates, and then I'm going to reboot it. Now, as you can see right here, I have the system prep tool here uh, where I can take it back to the uh, out-of-box experience which is what I plan to do. Uh, let's see here. Let's clean up all this junk. Um, so, yeah, I... I this thing goes for three ninety nine. I, I I honestly don't think it's worth the three ninety nine. And a, a couple things that I also don't like is the way that memory soldered in there, which means you know of course your speed is always going to remain the same. It's going to be twenty six sixty seven no matter what speed of a module you put in. Um, I thought that was kind of crappy. Uh, One hundred twenty eight gigs is what you get from the. Uh, out of the box there on space that's that's not really that much i really wish it would have bumped it up to at least 256 maybe even 512 would have been better uh yeah this this laptop uh it's already pretty much sold but i think uh overall i'm gonna rate this like three stars out of five over on uh, amazon when i do my review of this thing um if you want to check it out yourself, I'm going to leave a link down there in the description to where you can find this laptop. Uh, like I said, it, it goes for $399. It, it's, it's okay. It runs great, but I don't think that really uh, the price they're asking is really justified considering what you get. And then uh, not to mention it's also in uh, S mode here. So uh, I'll have to... Oh, I already took it out of s mode for the uh new owner but yeah i i don't know not uh not really the greatest uh laptop i think i mean it's okay like i said but uh that's gonna be it for this video the guys um we'll see you next time i got a pc build coming up next uh in a new case that uh far as i can tell nobody's done a video on so i'll uh talk about that case a little bit here but uh that's gonna be it for this guys uh, i'll see you next time i'll talk to you later and have a great day